small detail um, about this uh, emission again. Um, standard model, uh, whenever an electron changes orbit, either going in or outside or from left to right, doesn't matter. When it changes orbit, there's always an emission. And as I said before, um, it looks like one instant occurrence, but actually there are three things going on. First off, a proton turns into a neutron, and this gives enough space for the other in the other shell, for a neutron in another shell to turn into a proton. And only then we get emission. When this happens, when a proton turns into a neutron, there's no electron catch or emission, but when a neutron turns into a proton, there is emission. Why? Well, you might say the energy level before and after is equal. Same picture here, same picture there. Why is there emission? Well, the rehearsal, open space, this uh, little nucleon, this hydrogen core spinning around, one of his axles spinning. And um, getting hit by the gravitons, which maintain its spin. And at a certain point, uh, there's a the war going on. At a certain point, uh, one of those quarks spinning will win that Turk. It's, there's both being loaded those quarks. So the red one, say the red one wins, this would elongate the yellow one and uh, make it shift either that way or that way. Um, ending up becoming a proton. So this is what happens, neutron turning into a proton. But there's a little more going on, of course. This momentum of this entire thing um, causes this one to speed up. It, now, it, because of its shooting out, its orbit is bigger. Bigger orbit means bigger speed caused by the momentum of the other members. Gravitons are all around. One gets hit and then it turns into an electron. A graviton going at normal speed, we don't notice them. But when they are going fast, we notice them as electrons. So, patch, now we get an electron. This one goes to a normal speed and uh, that's the status quo. One electron came out of it, and this one is now a nice little proton turning around. So, you get an emission when a neutron turns into a proton. The other way around, when this one turns back into a neutron, for some reason, maybe it has bounced with, with another, collided with another object, um, we're going to get this thing. So now the the, uh, the little speed it had, the little extra speed that yellow uh, electron had, now gets absorbed by the entire nucleus. That's about nothing because the momentum of the entire nucleus is bigger than the single electron going in. You know, if you have an object and you're standing on this surface of, of the, our planet and you uh, lift it up. This object will accelerate, and we put it down again. That object will accelerate the Earth. Very minor, but it will happen. So that's what I'm trying to explain here. But it's hardly noticeable. So there isn't uh, a lot of energy going on. There's not, not a big energy exchange. There is no electron shooting out. Why should I shoot out an electron? It goes at a normal speed. Here it went at a normal speed. Popping back in, it still goes at a normal speed. So. There's no reason for it to catch or uh, shoot out, emit an electron. So that's why uh, I'm repeating my stuff, I know, but that's why uh, this transition from this proton to step two to the neutron does not emit or catch energy, whilst this one, a neutron turning into a proton, does emit energy. Um, that's all I want to add. Thank you. Okay.